Okay, I'm going to do my best to explain this in an understandable way. And I'm not sure if all of this is going to make sense, but I'm going to try to make the most sense of it as I can. So, um, everything starts with the battery because you need some juice to run the motor. So you have your uh, <clears throat> negative and positive running and connected to the, the little motor here. And this, some way, needs to either connect via a belt, direct drive, cog, transmission, or something to this wind generator and spin this. Now, as this spins, the stator runs through those <clears throat> these coils generating electricity, uh, which goes through this charge controller, which was originally connected to this piece right here because it obviously needs to, this would be in the stock of the wind generator, allowing the head to, to move around and pivot with whatever direction the wind is blowing and still make contact with these two connections. That goes out and goes to a charge controller, and I don't know if you can make that out, but that's the power in from the solar panels, and then this is the line out to charge the battery. So we go back and dump energy back into the battery, but there's also a connection here for an output. So whatever excess or whatever draw would be 12 volt, no need for an inverter. So just snip the lines on this, connect it into the positive and negative terminal there, and then have constant 12 volt power. And my theory is that this is able to generate 400 watts of electricity, and this at its peak is supposed to only draw 25 watts. Um, Hopefully it has enough torque and energy to spin this up to 35 to 40 miles per hour, which is roughly 3,000 RPM if my, collection, if my calculations are correct. Should get this to its peak efficiency of generating 400 watts uh, while only consuming 25. Of course there's going to be loss for heat and transference between all of these items, laws of thermodynamics, blah 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 but I don't believe that you would end up losing 300 watts. Now, I don't know how long this motor will last at full tilt and how long this generator will last at full tilt. I imagine that you know their lifespan will eventually expire at some point, but I'm curious to see how much energy I can get out of them before the components fail. And if the battery is even needed, I mean, maybe it's not even needed. Maybe I just need to jump start that motor and this thing will continually generate enough electricity that I don't need to run a line out to the battery that it can just go through the controller and just power an accessory and it just needs that jump start from the battery. But I don't know, that's my current thinking. So either something in parallel like this where uh, there's a, a belt going between the two or a chain drive, different cogs, different gears to try to change the, uh, the gearing on the engine to the gearing on the generator. Uh, to try to find the optimal RPMs for both of them and try to get the, the most power out of the setup. This will kind of be the heart of everything. You can see this little moon icon here and an empty arrow indicating that there's no charge coming in. So this little icon here with the solar panel is where the charge comes in. And then this little happy battery is right now outputting power. This, this is the line running to the battery. You can see the little battery icon here and it's outputting power to this light bulb. This is a light bulb icon. And I have that connected to a little car, um, like a car charger, cigarette lighter. And in that I have this uh, USB LED uh, light up to just make sure that I'm getting power. So this is coming from the battery. It's draining the battery slowly. There's no charge going into the battery. Um, let me explain this and I'll show you how I plan to get charged into the battery. So if you follow this line, this is our solar line. And this is where, well, well, the solar panel, this is where it'll be getting power from the wind generator. This was the shaft where the wind um, turbine would rotate around. So there's like a weird little connection there. And then there's this, um, this little logic board here that will flow electricity once there's a steady uh, spin on the generator. Once there's a steady spin, it goes ahead and activates it and begins to dump power down this line and this charge controller um, goes, goes ahead and feeds that back into the battery while at the same time continuing to power the accessories. So my idea is to have this nice controlled power on a switch, so I haven't got the switch hooked up yet. Uh, this is a three-way switch, I need a two-way switch, I don't know, uh, I'm going to have to order a two-way 
or maybe I can rig this three-way up in a way that I can just do it on and off, on and off, and activate this little motor right here. Now this, this motor comes from a, uh, a remote control car. It's supposed to go really fast. It's supposed to have like incredible top speeds. Um, I don't know if it has enough torque to keep a good steady spin on this, uh, but ideally I want to go ahead and wire this up. Thanks FedEx. Wire this up on this switch to be able to flick this on and start spinning the, um, the wind generator to see if I can create an over unity where this, gen this engine is spinning the generator fast enough to generate enough juice into here to, to charge this and have excess energy. And to show you that I've got this hooked up correctly and everything is working, I'm just gonna get a little bit loud. I'm gonna disconnect this little rubber band that I'm kind of mocked up here. If you keep an eye, well, you'll see this little green LED light up once there's a steady enough amount of energy going around here. And you'll also see that a little solar panel icon will come up here on this display and it'll start uh, having a motion through the arrow. And uh, once I get this going, I'm gonna switch through the menus here so you can see how much um, energy is being generated at different RPMs. So I'm gonna start slowly. And the, the key is to keep it steady. There we go, okay. So the green light is on. I'm generating energy from the, the solar panel, actually the wind generator. And uh, I'm gonna cycle through these men menus. This is the temperature. Um, I'm getting 1.8 amps right now. I'm gonna increase the speed. And as I increase the speed, it increases the amount of amperage being generated. So I'm gonna keep going. So that's going into the battery. The battery's going out. It's not really running anything, so there's no drain. Ideally, instead of using this, this motor would be what's driving this and continue to generate electricity. So uh, I might have to play around with different size motors and see if I can find one that is going to run this um, efficiently enough to get more out of it than is being taken from it. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I ended up blowing a fuse, um, trying to figure out how all this stuff works. Uh, it's a F15AL250V, 250 volt. Um, so I wound up blowing that because I had tried to run the motor off of the outlet here, but every time I would connect it, the little light icon would start to blink and it would stop sending power to, to the socket. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to wire it directly to the battery. So I didn't, I wanted to be able to connect and disconnect it. So I wired up this socket, just come up the back here, connect to the battery, and then I'm just plugging it in using this. And uh, I immediately blew the fuse. So thankfully I had two of these. I pulled a fuse out of another one, put that in there, and I'm going to connect it real quick so you guys can see see how it goes. I don't know how long it'll last this time, but I'm going to go ahead and connect it for a second. Yeah, and I think, I think it just blew. Yeah, just that quick. So I don't know if some, if there's a line crossed or it's just uh, trying to pull too much. The first time I hooked this thing, it spun really good. Firing up and went like faster than I'd ever seen it go before. Uh, I'm going to open this back up real quick and see if that fuse uh, blew as well. And in that case, I might have wired something incorrectly here. Yep, sure enough, that uh, that fuse blew too. You can see a little bit of the remnants of the filament in there. I, I, I wish I knew a little bit more about electronics. Um, I'm doing the best I can with the limited knowledge that I have. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'll get there eventually. Uh, I might just wind up um, disconnecting this and just 
connecting it forcefully with no fuse. All right, um, this is with the band hooked up, and if I turn this, you can see this little tip over here spinning. Um, I tried a few different methods of powering this. I tried to power it off of the USB, um, but that uh, that did not work. It blew the fuse in, in the USB connector. So then I tried to plug it directly into the power out, which blew out the um, blew out the USB charger that was in here. So this one's junk. So I got this one in here indicating that it's receiving power from the battery now. My little tester light. So now I've just gone ahead and connected the motor directly to the battery. Um, I'm going to run this a little bit so you can see what's going on. So this, ideally this would be, would be running this. I still haven't come up with a good solution here because this is eating this belt. So I'm just going to zap this for just a second and show you how fast this thing goes and how it keeps eating these things up. Um, what I've done is I've bought the actual wheel that's supposed to go on this, that's supposed to go on the remote control, so it actually has like a rim and a tire uh, that has grooves in it. And so what I'm gonna try to do is mount the tire. I might actually have to move this back just a little bit, and I'm gonna try to run this in the grooves of the tire. It's also slipping over here. But this thing is capable of getting this thing up to a point where that green light lights up. Are you able to see the uh, the light on the on the control board? Okay. Don't be alarmed. This is going to make a little zap and some sparks. Okay. It's going to make some noise. Just uh, don't freak out. As you see, this is working its way off. It smells burning. Like this thing is is warm. The uh, this whole shaft is warm because of the friction on this thing. This thing is a really high speed motor. Um, so once I get this correct and I get a nice ribbed tire on there uh, and find a way to put some traction on this surface over here, uh, I think I'll be able to power this enough where it should charge a little bit of something. So we'll see. Stay tuned. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, please leave some comments down below. I'm sure there's probably electricians that are viewing this and think I'm a total moron and an idiot like my dad does. But <laughs> it's okay, please leave me your comments, good or bad. Give me some suggestions on how I can improve this and um, do this safely. Thanks, bye.